Hey everybody, it's TR back with another RV how-to video and today I'm rebuilding a Sealand 510 Plus RV toilet. Okay, I've always said I don't it when I make a mistake and I made a pretty good mistake uh, when I first tried this. And I got parts and I put it all together. I never tested it. <laughs> and uh, the condition is pretty rough. It, it, uh, it won't flush. Come over here. Oh, you get to see inside my toilet, but you see when I flush it, the lever stays down. And so what the deal is, is that this ball that covers the hole, it's a flapper valve, um, <laughs> is not the right one and I didn't test it before I put everything back together the last time. So I did some more research and found out I got the wrong kit. This is a ball and shaft kit from Dometic and it's part number 38531816. And so what comes in this kit is this return, whoops, go back here, ah, dropsy. Is this return spring, some new screws, and this brass stem. And so we're going to be installing that today. This is what I got wrong. And the part that I got, that is the part that I got that, that's the wrong part, is this piece right here. And upon looking at it, it's the one that's in there, and I'll show you here in just a minute, is just a little bit narrower than this one. And it just, it don't work. So I'm going to have to get back in there and change it again. When I was in there the last time though, I discovered that there's a seal that you should probably replace. And so if you're gonna be busting this stem loose from the floor, like I'm gonna be showing you here in a second, you wanna make sure you get this seal kit. So you get this rubber seal. So when I took this out the first time, this thing was all crusted with lime scale. So I cleaned it off as best I could so that I could put the toilet back together and it wouldn't leak. And decided that uh, while I'm in there this time, I'm gonna go ahead and change the seal. The nice thing is, is it comes with new T-bolts. My T-bolts are just fine, but I'm gonna go ahead and change them out. What the heck, I've got them, I might as well use them. The tools you're gonna need is gonna be like a 5 16 I like to use nut drivers instead of screwdrivers when I can. You need a pair of pliers and a 7 16 box wrench or socket. Uh, the studs are a little long, so I found a box wrench works better. And I've already taken this, sh this shield off here. Okay, so I just left it loose. I'm going to set it over there out of the way. I'm going to tuck this in here so I can catch the water because there's going to be water that comes out of this when you take this water line loose. And so we're going to come in here. I'm going to take this water line loose. Get a little extra light in there. So you can see this is the water supply. Of course, I've turned the water off outside. There we go. Alrighty, that wasn't too bad, I guess. So, come in here, and these two screws hold this valve to the stem. And I'm just going to take this thing, valve and all, and remove the toilet. And there, that's loose. Alright, so, so if you look right here, this is a band clamp. You can kind of see it here. And we're going to take that loose. And we're just going to take that loose. Adjust the camera. Now this band clamp just slides down. And then there's this shell here. It's this piece. So what I got here is this piece and this piece. They go together like this and they hold this toilet on the stem. Basically the toilet's ready to come out now. Alrighty. For those of you that are going to scream at me because I'm not wearing gloves and working on something poopy. Here we go. <laughs> are you happy now? <laughs> then there's these two gaskets here. Um, 
that came in the kit that I put in the first day. All right, let me just take these loose. All right, yep. Now this stem is ready to come off the floor. There we go. Let's do that to keep anything from falling down the drain. So, what we need to do is get all this hardware over here. That's pure nasty. But there's just a screw in the stem. Let's see, can you see that? But this is just a screw. It goes through there. Oh, what was that? <clears throat> and then this stem, you see this stem right here? But pop that out. Let's set that back there for now. Now, yeah, pop this ball out. That's nastiness, so we're going to set that back there for now. Now, oh, let's get this new ball. And it's going to go in like this. So you just put that down in there. You line up the one pivot hole and you shove it down in there. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Much better. All right, then we take this brass stem. And we stick it back through here. Oh well, yeah, that's that's a hundred percent better. Now, screwdriver, and we just put this screw back in. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's 100% better. All right. Cool. Well, now what we get to do is come over here and get this out of the way. And I'm going to replace this gasket. down the turlet. Alright, well, I can say that's good. Pull this out. I don't know if there's all the other dirty stuff. Put this back in. shorter than those old two bolts. Alrighty, finally. What a pain in the butt that was. Now, let me just tighten these up. So one thing to keep in mind whenever you're tightening a flange like this down, this plastic, is you want to, you want to tighten the opposite bolts, or the opposite nuts. So you do one side and then you do the opposite side and then in this case there's four, so then I'm going to do this side and then this side. I'm not going to tighten them all the way down. I'm going to keep working my way around so that I don't crack that base on this plastic. All right, that feels pretty firm. All right, so I'm going to leave all this right here. Let's move this over there. Okie doke. So we're going to put it back together. We're just going to put this ring on. 
like this and then we take these two gaskets to align those gaskets all right now we're ready to put the toilet back on and again there's a notch on the front of the toilet right here that you line up with this notch in the toilet. I'm going to take and refit this clamshell. One of these says front. So the front goes like this. And this shell goes on like this. And then let's see. Front. And that goes around there. Feels nice and firm. Excellent. Let's go around and just snug those up a little more. All right. So the way this goes back together is, is that this notch, this arrow right here, fits in this slot. So, and this valve goes on like this, and the screws go through here. Here's a tip for you. Just take a piece of toilet paper and uh, make yourself just a little pad here. And then I'm going to take and just lay that right here on the floor. And then I'm going to watch it for a while because that'll tell me if there's a leak. Uh, if it stays dry a, a day or two, then I'll throw it away. Oh yeah, that's 10,000% better. So we're going to call this project done. Hope you found value in this. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. Those are always helpful. Helps me get YouTube's attention and gets my videos ranked up a little higher so people get to see them. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. That's always good. Lots of other RV how-to videos on my channel that you might find useful. You can check those out. But for now, it's time to go. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Until we get together for another RV how-to video. Peace. Time for shower. Nasty. Ugh. Got some nasty towels here. And lots of crash.